What's up guys, my name is Nycronic Ghost here on this Destiny 2 video for the Xur on March 30th, 2018. I'm going to be showing you his inventory. Uh, he can be found here on the tower. If you guys just go to the tower, go to the top right section of the tower. All you got to do is select him and then go to him. Should not be that difficult to find him or get to him. And uh, we're going to be checking out his inventory, making recommendations and all that. So starting off, we have the Darcy. Gotta be honest with you, I have actually never used this weapon. I had it like since the beginning of the game, I think it was my third or fourth exotic, and somebody told me it was bad and I never used it. The general idea behind it is that it uh, will show you the critical hit points, I think it shows you like a red outline around the enemy, um, and it has better uh, aim assist or something for those critical hit points, and it's like a burst sniper rifle. Um, I'm not sure how well it, it fares, again, I've never used it, uh, but most people tell me that it's not that great, and uh, to be honest, uh, the skin, the, or the ornament on it doesn't look that good either. I mean, the regular skin looks a lot better than the ornament, uh, and it's kind of a little disappointed uh, on that front, which I guess it makes it look like the Trials of Osiris one. Coming up next, the Dragon Shadow for the Hunter chest piece. It's going to grant additional movement, weapon handling for a short time after dodging. Overall, I would like to say this one is not that special. It doesn't really scream exotic. Hopefully, this gets updated in the May patch to have something more exotic. It's just increased movement and weapon handling speed. A again, movement speed doesn't really mean max run speed. It could actually just mean like movement while walking. Overall, very disappointing exotic. Uh, the skin or the ornament on it actually makes it look very similar. I can't show you because I'm a titan. Coming next, uh, Nezarek Sin. This is going to be that void based uh, helmet for the Warlock. It looks pretty cool on the Warlock overall. You can see the picture. Looks fantastic. Void based damage kills and uh, ability. Uh, it gets you a, 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 a void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate ability energy really not that important not that so important that you need an exotic for it overall not that amazing of an exotic either definitely like a four out of ten and then lastly you have the mk44 stand aside grants you grants you an overshield when sprinting this used to be a lot better in the previous games where you could go around have that like juggernaut shield on you i think was actually one of the skills and use a shotgun and it was a lot of fun because a lot of the shots would just get absorbed immediately whether it's a big shot or small shots it would just take all the damage but right now it doesn't seem to really do as well as it did before and it doesn't really feel that useful um, but who knows maybe this if you don't know what exotic to use this is something that could help you if people catch you uh, sprinting a lot or if you want to do some shield charging nonsense and whatnot apparently it hits with these abilities recharge a portion of your melee energy uh, basically, those things are the melee energy, so I guess you could get some melee energy for back from meleeing, but overall, not not a good one either. I, get, I would recommend uh, you stay away from it. However, it does increase your mobility, which is really nice, because lately, the Go Fast update may supposedly made the mobility actually make you run faster, so who knows, maybe it'll actually be useful. And then finally, three of coins. If you are missing some exotics in your life, get this um, whenever you're going to kill some bosses, so... Whenever you're playing a raid, pop this. Uh, whenever you're going to be farming some uh, ultras or majors, pop it. And you should be able to get a bunch of exotics, or at least more than average. Uh, and you might even get more of them from public event chests. I don't know. I think that they fixed them uh, a few months ago, but they used to be broken, so take it to grand salt. And finally, the faded engram. If you want to get yourself an exotic you don't have, which I believe now I have all of them. Anyways, that's the video for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy uh, that Zer video for you. Uh, this guy is is, uh, is is very dirty. Hold on, I gotta I gotta sweep up his his trail here. Hey, sir, stop tracking mud. Stop tracking mud. I I, <laughs> I really love this emo. It's it's really fun. It's it's interesting. It's nice. It's it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Hey guys, did I uh? Did I mention that I got a 100,000 score in the most recent Nightfall? <laughs> if only uh, you guys could watch and check out exactly how I did that. Well, I have a recent video where I did just do that. I got another Kefri's Horn. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized. I have gotten a Kefri's Horn for every single Nightfall for the past five or six Nightfalls. And then I just got it from my Flashpoint. Come on! Are you serious? Oh my god. Alright, well that's the video for you guys today. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. And of course, subscribe for more Zer in the future. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye! Bye! Whoa! <laughs> you guys want to see a magic trick? I'm going to make this broom disappear. Whoop! Oh, there it is. He did it last time! Shut up! Ah.